Several delays due to weather conditions. Hokulea and Hikianalia are leaving later this morning. Dallas Santaveros joins us live from Sand Island with all your details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine Ross. Yes, it's an excited morning, and here joining us on Wake Up Today, we have a special guest. This is Lehua Kamalu, who is a captain and navigator for the Hokulea from Hilo to Tahiti. She is actually the first female to lead and navigate from he from Hawaii to Tahiti yes. in its whole history, right, Lehua? So far. <laughs> Does that put any pressure on you, or are you aren't you excited? I'm I'm excited. Um, it's always interesting. I know, you know, we've been trying to trying to head out at the right window and the right time, and you yeah. never quite know when the day is going to come for departure. So yeah. you sort of have to manage your excitement level a little bit. You don't want to be, you know, excited, not leaving, going. <laughs> so you're always just getting ready to go, no matter when that that departure date comes. Yeah, we've been following this because this voyage really got pushed back a few weeks because of the weather conditions. Yes. So when's the last time this voyage has happened from the Hawaiian Islands to Tahiti and back? Yeah, our last voyage to Tahiti, um, well, we returned from the worldwide voyage in 2017 with Hokulea and Hikianalia, uh, and also we went down to Tahiti in 2014 at the start of the worldwide voyage, uh, and I was on that leg with Hokulea, and uh, it was incredible. It was my first open ocean voyage. Wow, that's amazing. We're excited for you, and this is kind of the first, what is it, um, like deep dive voyage since the post-pandemic? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know, as everyone has adjusted to the various, you know, regulations and gathering and health and safety concerns over the last couple of years, we've tried to figure out the right way to kind of get back out there onto the water. Obviously, what we do is very close quarters, um, lots of hands, lots of help, and uh, really excited that this year, you know, things have, have finally come together to get, get a full voyage out uh, and over to Tahiti. Yes, it tests your body mentally and physically in so many levels, and I was just asking you before we went live right here, you know, what's usually your last meal? Because you usually get the green light, you know, late at night when you all are going to go. <laughs> we do. Late night, early morning. We always think it's going to be a certain time, and it always surprises you about 12 hours earlier. So, you know, I think I, I just try to keep things regular study. You're sort of always in a zone, um, and this process of preparing for the voyage itself usually gets you into that state of mind. Uh, it's been, you know, weeks of, of any kind of delay just means more time for training and preparation, so yeah. there, always there's, ready. There's so much passion and hard work behind these voyages. It's very admirable. And you all are going to be leaving at 7.30 this morning. We'll be arriving in Hilo around Wednesday afternoon. And yes. depending on the weather conditions, you all will leave from Hilo to Tahiti Thursday afternoon. Hopefully. What is the best way to keep in touch with you all besides watching KH12? Sure. So we actually have uh, these days a tracker on board the canoe that helps you kind of follow along where the canoes are located, and we're going to be sharing stories. Uh, Hokulea.com is where we have kind of put all of our, our voyage history and information in the past, and we're also uh, launching another site to help people follow along with what's actually going on sort of a little bit behind the scenes and in the, the mindset of our voyagers and navigators on yeah. our va'ahonua.org. It's so exciting, especially coming out of this pandemic. There's so many people who maybe want to try something new, who need an adventure out there, and you're a great example on that. <laughs> so congratulations on all the accomplishments. Good luck today, and we hope to hear from you soon before you all take off this morning. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Lahua. And again, it will be out here throughout Wake Up Today and Take Two. If you want some more details as to what to expect before they disembark at 7.30 this morning, visit our website at kh12.com. You can find the details there. Reporting out here at the scene, Dallas Anaveros, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you, Dallas, and just got to be ready for anything, like she said. Yep, especially with the weather conditions, but they're scheduled to leave at 7.30 this morning, and mm -hmm. hopefully they had a good